Okay, let's have a look at the proof that cube root of 2 is irrational by contradiction. So, we assume that the cube root of 2 can be written in the form A over B, where A and B are integers. And A over B is a fraction in its simplest form. Forming this statement is crucial. We need to be clear that A and B, there's no factor connection, so that A and B can't be simplified. There's no common factors. You could write that as well. So, let's have a look at how we look at doing this. So, cube root of 2 equals A over B. I then rearrange a little bit to say, okay, A equals 2, uh, uh, the cube root of 2 times B. And I'm going to cube both sides. Let's do that. A cubed equals well root uh, the cubed root of two cubed is two two lots of b cubed well what does that tell me it tells me a cubed is even if a cubed is even well it must be even by the way because it's two times b cubed it's two times something so a is even. So we know that A must be even according to this assumption. Okay, well if A is even, it must be 2 times an integer. So let A equal 2K. Of course, K is an integer. Be thorough. So we can then say Okay, well, 2k cubed equals 2b cubed. 2k all cubed equals 2 lots of b cubed. Well, 8k cubed equals 2b cubed. Let's simplify a little bit. 4k cubed equals b cubed. Well, that's 2 lots of 2k cubed equals b cubed. Oh, what does that tell me? Well, it tells me, if I write it ne more neatly, that b cubed is even. So, b is even. So, we know a is even, we know b is even. So, if a and b are both even, then A over B can be simplified. This contradicts statement. Just try and fit this on. This contradicts The assumption we made proves that assumption is impossible and therefore the cubed root of 2 is irrational. There you go, despite the dodgy writing, I hope that makes sense. Thank you very much.